ila wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabatillah from amongst the ways that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance and that's mentioned in the Quran is in suratul suratul ali imran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in kitab al-kareem Rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da dhadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahmah innaka anta al-wahhab is where the believer or where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Rabbana la tuzigh qulubana o oh, our lord so here this is tawhid you're imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala o oh, our lord la tuzigh qulubana do not allow for our hearts to be you know marred or our hearts to be uh, uh you know become misguided and become in a in a state of of uh sickness and misguidance rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana after you have guided us rabbana atina rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma and give us guidance uh, give us your 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 mercy waqina wa la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma so give us this mercy from that that is with you ya rabbi subhana innaka antal wahhab verily you are the all giving so allah subhana in, in this ayah in this dua as simple and concise of a dua it is the meaning is immense the meaning is immense because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we implore allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we make this dua and we read it in the quran rabbana la tuzigh qulubana our lord please do not allow for our uh our hearts to become you know to go astray so this is a talab hidayah this is asking for guidance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana after you have guided us that means allah subhanahu wa that that's a a a, a, a dua for the mu'min meaning that someone who has received guidance allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put them on bayna allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put them on khair and given them knowledge of ikhlas and given them knowledge of the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that then the person is asking for a continual guidance that the heart is not removed from that guidance rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana after you have guided us Rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma and give us from your mercy Rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka antal wahhab and then here is a ithbat of the sifa al wahhab that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al wahhab which is the 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 one who who gives he is the one who gives us he is ar razzaq he is the one who provides he is the one who sustains this is from the rububiya of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by you asking for this guidance this is a part of tawhid al uluhiya this is a part of of the servant asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone not his creation for this guidance for this uh this this uh for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give to him or her this pure guidance have a aidan min ni'm a ni'ma min ni'am Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking for his favor asking for his guidance asking for his forgiveness and seeking his reward have a min what 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 is this this is tawhid al uluhiya this is the tawhid the monotheism of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone this is putting tawhid into action this is uh, a tawhid al uluhiyah or tawhid al ibadah and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good accept our ibadah and forgive us for our many many sins wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam